Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are covering the Dectorio Mod, and uh, this one adds a whole ton of, if you couldn't guess, uh, decorations. Now, a very, very long time ago, like, I think like version 12 or before that even, I did a spotlight on a mod somewhat similar to this. I've also done one on asphalt and stuff, which was similar to this. Uh, but this one kind of covers the whole range of things, which is really cool. So uh, we'll start over here on the left. Uh, it adds quite a lot of stuff. And first off, I would like to point out that it does add corresponding technology uh, for some of these things. So like some of the floors it adds technology for, some of the walls, landscaping, I really like this uh, icon by the way, and uh, also probably, uh, so concrete unlocks all these concretes and stuff. Uh, there may be more that I'm not seeing at the moment, but it does add technology um, for this stuff as well. Uh, now we'll start over here. It adds a uh, wooden barricade and the health and stuff does vary based on the thing. So. And you can actually burn these, apparently. You can see down there, 12 megajoules uh, fuel value. So these wooden uh, barricades have 150 health, opposed to the uh, 500 of a wall, of a concrete wall. So these are, you know, obviously you just make them from wood. It's pretty simple. Uh, they're weaker, but much earlier game stuff. And then after that, we have a stone wall, which is made from stone brick, um, which is how you would normally make the concrete wall and vanilla, which is just called a stone wall, I think. Um, and this guy has 250 health. And then we have a chain link fence, which you make just from iron sticks and steel plate, which I quite like. I feel like you could do some cool stuff with this. Um, and I've just put it on, on hazard concrete to kind of, uh, there's like a background variation. It was looking kind of weird on the grass. Um, and then finally we have what would normally be the vanilla wall, um, but is now the concrete wall, which actually takes concrete and is just 500 health. Like normal. Um, and we also have the option to create a concrete wall from a stone wall. Um, so you, I really like this because you can take your stone walls you've used previously and then two concrete instead of five and turn it um, into uh, concrete walls. And then on top of that it adds hazard gates. You can see here I've used it on this one and on the uh, railroad uh, rails here as well. And then after that, it adds the wood flooring, which I think looks quite nice. And it does add a walking speed. Uh, 120% uh, walking speed, and this is all also uh, burnable. And then also the gravel path here, which is uh, just stone itself. It's just raw stone, and it actually adds a bit less walking speed at 110%. I mean, you can use any of these to right-click and mine these up just like in vanilla. Uh, so that's really cool. And just to clarify, this guy takes uh, 10 wood, not logs, and then... Uh, yeah, the gravel just takes the stone. So then we have all these different kinds of new concrete. And uh, by the way, the mod portal page for this is very, very nice. He's given like all these pictures and stuff. I'm kind of just mimicking what he's done there and he like explains everything. So definitely check that out as well if uh, you want even more explanation. Um, but going from left to right here, we have hazard concrete, which just replaces the vanilla hazard concrete. Um, these all have the same walking speed, by the way. Uh, and then we have, uh, let me see, hazard, uh, and then we have danger, uh, emergency, caution, uh, radiation hazard, which, yeah, actually that makes sense, uh, pink and orange kind of, and then the blue is uh, defect, and operations is black, white, and then safety is white, green over here. And then over here we have, uh, this is the landscaping. So you can make dirt uh, just from stone. You can make some sand, which is what I've placed here. And then you can do grass, which is pretty much landfill, dry grass, um, red desert and dark red desert. So this is red desert and uh, this is dark red desert. And those, you know, just take some stone and stuff. And then it also has water and green water for kind of waterfill. Now this is actually quite interesting, these recipes to take note of that um, for this water fill, it actually takes, they're the same price, but it takes two pickaxes, five explosives, which kind of makes sense. I mean, you have to blow up the ground to make way for the water, and then obviously actual water uh, for this recipe. So it, I mean, you know, carrying around water with you, water fill is a bit, you know, iffy, but still, um, I really like how he's actually made this like 
a recipe that you actually have to craft kind of like landfill so it's not like super overpowered which I think is kind of a good balance um, so there's that and we go down here and then he's done a they, they've done a ton of stuff with lights and I'm not gonna show everything because it's really a lot of stuff um, but there is a picture again on the mod portal very well done uh, that shows all this stuff uh, but they've added uh, new signal colors purple orange tangerine and aqua and then They've also added signal colors for raw resources, smelted items, fluids, science packs, inserters, belts, splitters, and circuits. And new signal icons for base game signal colors that better represent the actual signal color. So I've just done the science packs here. Um, like I said, there's all kinds of other stuff. Um, but what this does, which is really cool, is he's actually attached colors to science packs. Um, just like by default. Uh, so what we do is we just go in here and we set an amount or just set the science pack this is just for an example and then on the light we do choose color and we just say like this instead of having to like choose a color as well normally you're having a color that may not quite match a science pack um this already matches the um color of the science pack here so you can see each one of these matches and then the same goes for raw resources which i think is super cool so you know all of them wood coal stone iron and then uh copper uranium and then the smelted iron plate steel plate copper plate um, all different colors to match those so if you want to do light displays or something you could actually have the color match the resource same with all the fluids um, and then like you said same with all like yellow belt red belt blue belt same with all the undergrounds and splitters for those and then red green blue circuits and all the inserters as well and then just to show you here the rework of these colors um, these are the normal signal colors but they kind of are improved uh, so that's the other thing this is added and that's pretty much all the stuff one last thing I do want to mention is that you can um, change some settings in the uh, startup options um, under mod settings you can change them under um, some of these settings here or uh, yeah down here um, but they do say that uh, changes on existing games will require content to be migrated and some items may be lost if you dis disable components you've already used on an existing save. So to make a backup first, but you can, you know, just say, you know, I don't want the, you know, landscaping to be part of my game. So just don't do that. Or the walls or gates or flooring or concrete or whatever. Um, but there you go. That's pretty much it. It's really nice for the decorations, all kinds of different things you can do and even some defensive uh, capabilities as well with the walls aside from the uh, obvious aesthetics of them so anyway guys that's going to do it link in the description as always to the mod portal where there's tons of info and you can download it check it out uh i'd love to hear your thoughts as always down in the comments if you did enjoy and found it helpful feel free to leave a like but until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care